Hi, Apple released a supplemental update to Mac OS High Sierra 10.13, just over one week after the release of Mac OS High Sierra. The update can be downloaded using the software update function in the Mac App Store shown. The update takes about 15 minutes to complete, and be aware that the Mac will reboot. The supplemental Mac OS High Sierra 10.13 update addresses a software vulnerability that could expose the passwords of encrypted Apple file system volumes in plain text and disk utility. Apple has released a support document alongside the supplemental update that walks users through the process of protecting their data if Mac OS High Sierra is showing a password instead of a password hint on an encrypted APFS volume. Steps include installing the new update, creating an encrypted backup of data for the affected volume, erasing the drive, reformatting to APFS, then APFS, encrypted, and finally restoring the data that was backed up. A separate security support document says that the update also fixes a vulnerability that could let a hacker steal the usernames and passwords of accounts stored in keychains in a malicious third-part app and finally, according to the release notes accompanying the update, it also improves installer robustness, fixes a cursor graphic bug in Adobe Indesign, and resolves an issue where messages couldn't be deleted from Yahoo accounts and mail. The issue of the disk utility bug, currently, only affects Macs with SSD storage due to Apple file system compatibility, but APFS will eventually support machines with Fusion drives as well. It seems that users who haven't specified a password hint, or haven't used disk utility whatsoever, are probably not affected. For clarity, this appears to be a bug within disk utility itself. When creating an encrypted APFS volume and terminal with the disk utility command line utility, the actual hint is shown, rather than the password. If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac's High Sierra. You can also check my bootcamp playlist. There are many videos on how to install Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 on a Macintosh. Check it out. A to Macintosh YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and viewing.